would like to introduce you to the COVID visor. It's a COVID visor that uh, shields you from COVID, similar to how a sun visor shields you from the sun. Uh, before explaining it, uh, how it works, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, reason or the problem we're trying to solve. As everyone knows, uh, the recommendation is if you're indoors, particularly, uh, that you wear masks, stay six feet apart, and wash your hands frequently. Uh, not that COVID uh, comes uh, as contact through the skin, it's uh, respiratory, but the idea is to, uh, in case you inadvertently touch your face and, and so on. Uh, six feet apart is because that's the distance that uh, droplets that may be carrying the virus would uh, typically fall uh, from an infected person. Um, and uh, a mask, both for droplets and also for aerosols, uh, which are smaller uh, uh, part, uh, particles that uh, travel long, uh, further and linger in the air longer. Um, and so a mask would protect you from that. But we also know that masks vary in terms of effectiveness by the degree that they filter as well as uh, you know how you put them on, whether it's a good fit or not. Um, but what's also the case is uh, the three considerations combined have really wreaked havoc with the workspace, uh, schools, uh, the way that business is normally conducted. Uh, desks have to be further apart, um, um, elevators, uh, uh, less people, mass transit has much lower occupancy, all because people are afraid and you know rightly so and have to be further apart. Um, so our approach is to uh, come up with a solution that allows people basically to cut that six foot distance down back to normal, so to speak. And uh, our solution is uh, uh, a, uh, um, a protective shield um, that covers your, that not covers, that uh, protects your full head, uh, but doesn't cover it, so to speak. It's, an, it's not a mask, it's an unmask. Um, and it's made out of uh, very thin and light uh, polycarbonate uh, that's quite strong. Um, and uh, it's uh, head mounted and center weighted, so it's balanced. And when you wear it, it actually doesn't feel heavy. And you can wear it for a period, you know, extended periods of time. Um, and uh, it has uh, the filters we use are uh, standard N95 filters available from 3M and others. Uh, so, for example, we use a bayonet mount, which is the 3M mount. Uh, you can take out, this is an N95 filter uh, that's readily available. Uh, you can replace it with a, a, a P100 filter if you want uh, greater filtration, uh, depending on, on your uh, case. Um, and then the uh, filtration happens using, uh, via a air pump, um, suction pump, which is in the back. This is an early prototype of it. Um, that also filters the air going out. So that's important because basically you're protecting people uh, around you and not just protect, not only protecting yourself. Um, the way that you put it on is like a hat. It just comes on and off easy. And then there's a neck shroud that you uh, tighten. Uh, what that does is it creates an air seal at the bottom. Uh, you will get a pretty good sense when it's the right, I mean, you tie it so it's not too tight. Uh, but sufficient so that uh, it, it provides more air resistance than the filters. And as we know, air will follow the path of uh, least resistance. So when the pump is working, uh, if you have it snug on, around your neck, uh, the air will come through filters. Obviously, if you leave it loose, which you shouldn't do, it'll, you know, it'll circumvent the filters and air will be coming out the uh, other way. So uh, that uh, basically, and also I should say the fan, it has a variable control a speed. So you adjust it for the uh, rate of air, uh, uh, air that you want, uh, depending on your use case and your needs so that it's comfortable. You basically have a, 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 um, a constant stream of fresh air coming in. Uh, it's important to say that because it's, it's fan powered, uh, you don't uh, experience sort of breathing fatigue, which happens when you're wearing a mask for an extended period of time, because essentially with a mask, you're the one sucking in the air and having to overcome the resistance of the filter. And the filter needs a resistance because otherwise it's not filtering. Um, the the uh, fan is powered by a lithium ion battery, which is uh, not very big, as you see. It fits in your pocket, and then it also has a, uh, a speed controller that you, that you can adjust. Uh, the battery is obviously rechargeable. Uh, we view the openings as kind of a port, uh, whether for fresh air or something. So in addition to removing it uh, to replace the filters, uh, we're working on a uh, uh, 
what you might consider a uh, a drinking uh, port, and the the um, shell is mounted on a swivel shell, is attached via a swivel a, a swivel connector to the uh, hat, uh, so that you can rotate it and basically bring the drinking uh, port in, in, within reach. Um, that's a quick summary of how the COVIDizer work. Um, basically, our goal with it is to allow you to feel, uh, to be safe working with other people who are or not maybe also wearing the COVIDizer uh, within normal distance. So they could be sitting around the conference table working. Um, you could be in a factory setting, you could be in a farm setting uh, next to each other and you are each breathing filtered, uh, uh, purified air um, and also without most other powered uh, air, air uh, respirators, as they're called, um, only filter the air coming in, and then they don't filter the air going out. So they're not necessarily uh, considerate of the people around you because they were made for a different kind of use. Um, so in any event, we're building, uh, our plan is to build the first 200 of these and to get them to people who are interested to try them in different use cases, whether it's working in the office teaching, uh, lecturing at a university campus, uh, and feeling that you know, it's, it's a safe uh, thing that you could be doing, um, or other kind of work scenarios, or just you know, using them in public. And uh, so we hopefully will get uh, 200 people you know, if interested, hopefully yourself, uh, that would support this, and we'll get the first 100, uh, 200 out uh, in short order.